Hi, my name is Robert from tmile.com and I welcome you to this tutorial about how to customize Belize, our number one restaurant WordPress theme. Let's start with one of the most important elements of your website. Head to Appearance, Customize, then access the Site Identity settings. Here is the place for your branding, where you can upload a custom logo, set the site title and tagline, use smart words and a compelling title. Now with this done, head to the front page sections. Here is the big title section of the front page, where you can change the text over the image and the button text as you wish. Insert a link for the call to action button, then change the hero image with your preferred one. The second option in front page sections is menu section, where you are able to set the hours of operation and which menus categories will be displayed. And the last option is the about section, where you can set a custom content using the default WordPress text editor or by accessing the live editor powered by Site Origin when you are logged in after visiting the home page. This way, you'll be able to change the content in those sections individually and remember that you can use more widget styles in the right sidebar of the Site Origin Live Editor. For example, you can change the background color. Click Done after you finish all the settings, then you must click on the Update button to keep the change. You may notice two more sections on the home page below the menus. Here is how you can set them up. Head to Widgets Events section. Add a widget for upcoming events and if you have events in your list, they will be gathered here automatically as upcoming events. For now, you see the no events message here, so let's see how you can show up some info. Close the customizer then head to events in your dashboard. Hover over any event then click the edit link. Change the date and time in the events details to be closer to your current date. Let's say this event will be live on 5th of July in 2017. Set the end date accordingly, then tick if the event will be live all day long. If this will be a recurring event, choose the option from the drop-down list. Include or exclude occurrences and choose the venue or add a new one by completing all details in those fields. One more thing before you hit the update button is to add category and tags to that event, like you do for a simple blog post. Sure, you can describe your event with more text, images and videos using the standard text editor below the title of the event. After you hit the update button, go back and reload your home page, then you'll see the edited event instead of no events. Click on that event and you'll be redirected to the event page where you can see all the details about it. To see how the Instagram images are gathered near the events in this section and use that Instagram account to show related images about that event, click on the suggested video in the top right corner now or check it out in the description below. Sure, you can add more widgets in these areas and here is the field where you need to enter your Instagram feed shortcode after you install and set up the plugin. The ribbon area is where you can add a widget to display a title, some text and a call to action button. The call to action button can be a subscribe option or buy a ticket to the event for example. Set the background image and visibility according to your own strategy, then save your work. Changing the footer text and copyright info is easy. First. Head to Footer 2 widget section and change the centered text with your own business info. To quickly access editable fields, simply click on any of the blue pencil icons and you will be redirected immediately to that section in the customizer. Here is the Advanced Options section where you can change the copyright info and enable or disable some functions like breadcrumbs on shop pages sorting options on shop pages, details tab on single product pages, link on food menu title in the menu page, hide date on a single page, 
and hide search button in header. Now that some settings were done and you have content on pages, let's choose the perfect matching colors according to your business. Select the color scheme from the drop down list or set colors as you wish using the color picker, but keep in mind to choose it wisely and according to your branding strategy. The header image is the default image on all of your pages, but you can change them on every single page by adding a featured image. For example, if I will delete the featured image in the About page, you'll notice that after updating changes, the default header image will be displayed here. I go back and set a custom featured image once again, and the header image will become that. The background image is not used for now, but you can set one as custom gradient background color for example. I suggest you to leave it as it is by default with no image at all. Menus are the navigation options your visitors will use to find structured information about your restaurant and your social media profiles near the phone number. By the way, your phone number and email address can be changed in the advanced options section. After you import the demo data, all of your menus are displayed like in the demo, of course, and you can edit the elements and custom fields within like so. For more appealing style and an intuitive navigation, add icons. And you can do that by using instructions in the recommended video on the screen right now or check the link in the description below. Be sure that the static front page settings are a static page with front page as the front page and journal as the posts page. I love to see that nice related posts section under every post. Remember that they will be displayed under every product on a single product page too. This way you'll be able to add more valuable and fresh information your visitors can read about your business. I think I covered every section and how you can customize them. If not, please tell me about it in the comments below. I will be happy to answer you all. Thanks for watching. Click the parrot on the screen right now to subscribe, then click the bell and check send all notifications for this channel. This way you'll be notified every time we upload our latest tutorials about WordPress. Share them if you like what you see. Hit the like button and ask any question in comments below.